okay. Hi. So, over the next five years, I've got to negotiate with my university where I should be. So, I was going to survey you to see where you all are and so I can follow the trend. So, hands up if you're in IT services. <laughs> Eight in IT services. Are you in a, <laughs> hands up if you're in the school of computing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. And hands up if you're in a sort of another school or faculty. Oh wow, you see we've got more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And hands up if you're in a cross-disciplinary institute, which I thought would be the most popular. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I reckon you the same. So that's all very useful. I should move out of IT services according to this. Um, <laughs> so, but where? That's the next thing. So what do I need in my environment? And this is a problem or an issue that a lot of people at the university I'm at talk to me about generally because I'm in Central. So hands up if you think you need a choice of operating system or systems on your desktop. So that's the majority, but I'll quickly go around. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. I don't know how many people are in the room actually, I'll come with you later. <laughs> Hands up if you think you should have admin rights to a system that you've got. I think I've got more hands up than I have for the choice of operating system, but let's quickly go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, uh, but if you think you should have access to be able to write on a website somewhere. Right, okay. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 31, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. About, about 30 there. I'm not going to go to, through that so quickly. As a quick one, would you say that you should have academic freedom? I'm not. That's not on the list. Hands up if you think you should have academic freedom, which we don't have in the UK. Right, okay. Um, hands up if you think you should have access to a mailing list so you can solicit help and tell people about talks and such like. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 um, to be able to deliver training without cross-charging across your institute. Does anyone have cross-charging issues? So if I was in, at, at the University of Leeds, if I was in the maths department and I wanted to deliver training to engineering, there'd be a cross-charging fee between the faculties. <laughs> so you, you, you're in agreement with me that there shouldn't be cross-charging fees? Yeah, okay. Well, I, I might be talking to you later. Um, be able to contribute to the REF. Hands up if you think you should be able to contribute to the REF. That's the citizens' exercise. So... Not many hands are going up, and I'm going over my two minutes as well. So I'll I'll end now. <laughs> <laughs>